Looks like somebody picked the wrong day to be a turkey. Keep your elbow down and cradle the stock, okay? Yeah, I get it. Can I shoot the damn thing or not? Yeah, that's the spirit. Take a deep breath, and then squeeze that trigger as you're letting it out. <laughs> Megan, are you sure this is what you want to do? <laughs> Let's name it. She's not going to kill it if it has a name. Yes. Uh, Sam. Uh, Gertrude. Uh, Tom. Uh, 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 Billy Holiday. Uh, uh, no. yeah, Elijah. 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 Stand your ground, kid. Take the shot, kid. Take the shot. Take the shot. Oh, Dad. Oh, my God. Kurt. Oh, Dad. Are you okay? Kurt. Dad, Daddy, all right? I'm okay. She just winged me. I'm sorry, Padre. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay, kid. I've been shot worse than this plenty of times. Okay. Make your scarf as a tourniquet. Take your scarf, make a tourniquet. Oh, Wrap it around the shoulder. I got this like Good, Dad. You're going to be fine, sweetheart. I'm going to bleed out. Oh. Wow, two for two. Makes getting shot worth it. Get the birds, Brad. God, I don't know who this child is. You get that one. Are you okay? Uh, my parents are divorced. Oh, mine too. Sucks. Yeah. I think it was my fault. Was yours your fault too? I don't know. I hope not. I just found out last night. When did you find out? I was a baby. Oh, when you were a baby? Maybe it was your fault. Were you a difficult baby? Um, I don't know. You know what? Your lack of specifics leads me to believe it was your fault. No, no, no. You were not a difficult baby, sweetheart. Brad, dude, what are you telling the kid? Mmm, yummy. Hey. I want some. Me too. Now, girls, that's a grown-up drink. Yes. Thank you, Karen. So we're only gonna have one. What? No, 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 no. There's some in there, so not any. to play Jesus' dad, Brad. He wasn't Jesus' dad. He was Jesus' stepdad. And I'm exactly the right type. You better stop hitting me with that shepherd stick, Brad. I'm warning you. Brad's right. Let him be Joseph. Thank you, Roger. I appreciate that. It's Brad's turn, Dusty. Dad, don't break character and stop trying to butter me up. Can we show some decorum? I'm showing decorum. Shh. You guys, sip it. You're gonna wake up baby Jesus. That's it. Give me the beer. Don't touch my Joseph beard, Brad. Give him the beard. Yeah, stay out of here. Can we have some respect for the nativity? Get it out! This is stupid. I don't even get it. Why go on a trip when Mary's about to have a baby? What's so damn important? You gotta go to Bethlehem in the middle of the night. It was the census, okay? We covered that in Sunday school. Megan, what is going... Did you get into the eggnog? Hey, we got for some IHOP. Oh, yeah, that kid's pickled, all right. Oh, I'm you're pretty. Can we go to IHOP? Uh, I, I'm sorry, folks, having some uh, technical difficulties. Uh, Great, Dad. Now you've broken the fourth wall. None of it's real, folks. I want to go in the car. Give me the keys, Brad. No, I'm not giving you the keys to the car because you're drunk and you're a child. Nobody likes your dumb, stupid Brad voice. And you smell like pumpkins. Oh, and you're a mean drunk. That kid's got an arm. Drunk nine-year-old. Real nice parenting. You better watch her, Roger. <laughs> oh! Adriana. Is she okay? okay is she? What is she? Oh, what a shock. Now we know where Megan got the eggnog. You always assume she's the bad influence. Maybe your daughter play my daughter with alcohol. Maybe your daughter's that way because her mother is a shoplifter. Shoplifter. Sarah, we've been working on the shoplifting thing, okay? But that's got nothing to do with Adriana being such a little nightmare all the time. My daughter is not a nightmare. Come on, Adriana. No, sweetheart, I didn't mean that. Honey. Hey. Would you call my daughter? He called her a nightmare. Hey, I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a heathen. Let's take this outside. Yeah, let's step outside the manger. Let's call her a nightmare. Sarah, get the kids out of here, okay? Happily. I don't want them watching this anyway. Have fun, morons. 
Pickets, bitches! You not say bitches. Kids are gone. And you, from the minute you got here, you've been nothing but mean and sarcastic. Well, you know what, Kurt? F you! <gasps> Dad. That's right. Forget you! boy, Swami, throwing down F-words. Not the F-word, but an F-word, and that's a good start. Now, come on, give me the finger. Big boy, come hey, on. Hey, hey. Don't say I didn't warn Take you. Take your best shot. Dad! Don, I'm sorry. <laughs> that sucks. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, it was all right. <sighs> hey, no fair, that's a nice ball. I bet it is. You know, you throw that, and we are no longer Kodak. You gotta keep puff faking that thing, or you're gonna take a shot, Brad. Huh? What? What? Huh? He's never played sports ever. Maybe it's stuck to oh. his hand. Huh? 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 That's what I thought. You know what, Dusty? You're not worth it. Come on, Dad. <sighs> Good. Psych! You're totally worth it! Dad! <laughs> that was a nice ball. Dad, like that. Dad, look, it's an accident. Oh. Go ahead, Roger. Brad was right the first time. You're not worth it. Dan, right down my neck. Done. Sorry, sorry. You guys like a snowball magnet. I need to use the gents. Uh, Brad, do you need to go TT? Dad, don't say that in public. Yeah. Just go. Right. Is he still looking at me? Yes. Is he doing that one look that he does, you know, like... Is he doing that look? Yeah. Where he doesn't blink? Yeah. Yep. You know, when I said that Brad was turning you into something that you're not, maybe... You know, what I really meant to say was that Brad's turning you into something that I'm not. A good dad. No? No, that didn't do it for you? Come on, I thought it was pretty good. That whole speech was in the movie we just saw. Was it? Yeah, word for word, dramatic pauses and all. Liam Neeson just said that. Oh, it must have been in my subconscious. I, I'm yeah. gonna go drain the lizard. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, Adriana? You're not gonna like this young lady, but this is long overdue. I love you. That got me. It took me to right here. What the hell did you just say? You heard me. I said I love my stepdaughter, and I meant it. I should have said it a long time ago, but I was afraid to put myself out there and risk getting rejected. Sweet. You know what? Adriana, you're going to spend Christmas with your mom, OK? You're not leaving us, Roger, because I love you, too. You take that back. Nope, I can't. Can't take it back now. Everybody heard it. It's out there. Everybody hear it? Yeah. 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 Come on, Roger. Look, yes, we're all stuck here, but we're with our loved ones. I'm not. I, I came alone. Oh, OK, well, he came to the movies alone on Christmas, and that's a little sad. That's a little sad. <laughs> but you're not alone, sir. I mean, think about it. We come to the movies all the time. We sit with hundreds of people. And we laugh together, we cry together, but we never look at each other, do we? Brad, it's not a microphone, it's a mallet. See? They can hear you. You can still hear me, right? Yeah. 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 Take a look at each other. 